massive day at Clawhammer. We are maxing out our grain bill with more than 20 pounds of grain for a double IPA brew day. Here's how that works. Huge day. Huge. <laughs> Number one, we got a real basket. This is the real basket that comes with our kits. We've been using a prototype basket for five years. Yep. And then we thought since we have the correctly sized basket, let's do a max grain test. And that's what we're gonna do with this beer that we're brewing, which is going to be... Double IPA smash. And we're gonna do an overnight mash. So it's gonna be an overnight Ooh. smash. <laughs> So before we get started, there are three ways to put a lot of grain in a basket. Number one, just put as much in as possible. In our 10 and a half gallon system, 18 pounds will fit comfortably. We've tested that. Number two, you can pull out a little bit of water, add your crane, and then add as much water back as possible for the mash. Following the mash, do a mini sparge with the rest of the water. And then number three, slightly reduce the batch size. In this video, we're going to go into detail on option number two. So the first thing we'll do is fill the kettle with the entire volume of water. Then we will add our brewing salts. And then after that, we'll pull some water out, add the grain, and then add the water back. One of the reasons we're doing this, people ask us often how much grain we can fit in our baskets. We've done a couple bigger beers, but you know, we're doing it again. So right. 20 pounds. Two, we've seen some literature lately on similarly sized brew systems, 10 and a half gallon systems, and their grain basket capacity is like really small, smaller than you would think. Yeah, you want to be able to fit as much grain as possible. Your grain basket. And that's just going to allow you to brew a higher gravity beer, obviously. So all of these brewing the bag systems have kind of the same limitation where the more grains you add, kind of less efficient your mash is gonna be. So typically in a beer up to like 1070, we'll get 70% brew house efficiency. But as you max this grain basket out when you're designing your recipe, if you're over 1070, just drop that efficiency down into the 60s. Um, and that'll just account for the less efficient mash because it's gonna be thicker and you're just not gonna get the same yield you do on a thinner a thinner mash in the brew in the bag system. So, so how many of the, oh yeah, we're pretty much. We're, we're good, we're golden man. Yeah, we're really, really good shape. So we still probably have a, maybe a, two pounds of grains left. We got tons of room. Yeah. And um, it's, got, it's thick right now, but again, we've pulled some water out, but we got a, a nice head space here. Okay, dump the rest in. And start adding water back in, yeah, I'm gonna totally, say. Totally. You don't want to overflow the basket. Well, it's gonna be close, man. So, how much water do we have left? I might even just leave that out. We could do a dirty sparge with it. Yeah, you don't wanna. I don't wanna overflow, but you can. For a little brew kettle in a little basket, I mean, 20 pounds is a decent amount of grain to have. Probably the largest capacity on the market, I would say, without it, researching every single one. I mean, I know that some of the ones I've looked at are like 14 pounds, 12 pounds, which, you know, is fine, unless you want to brew a yeah, double these, IPA yeah, or something. Yeah, double IPA, or even just like a high gravity single IPA. Right, anything over five and a half percent. Yeah. Like a normal beer. Fill her up. All right. I mean, I would just leave it personally, but I, I don't live on the edge. I love living on the edge. So I'll dump the rest of the water out into some pint glasses to see how much we have left. It's looking like we have about a pint and a half and we'll just set this aside and we'll add it back later. You don't have to do an overnight mash for this process. You can just do a normal 60 minute mash, but it's the end of the day. So we decided to just leave it sit overnight. It's morning. It's morning. Mark, good morning. So you already heated it up. It looks like we're at 170. Yeah, so I came in, turned the lights on, um, bumped it up to mash out temperature, 170 degrees Fahrenheit. We want to pull the grain basket out. Should we use our pulley? Oh, yeah. That's a lot of grain. That is a lot of grain. Let me grab All the right. Do we have hooks? Let me grab the hooks. All right. All right, so we do need to do our little mini sparge. Highly recommend the pulley. Yeah. Especially when burning by yourself. At this point, the last thing you need to do is what we like to call a mini sparge, which is where you pour the water that you set aside back over the grain basket after you elevate it above the kettle. Once you're done with this, you can move on with the rest of the brew day as normal.